This is a teddy bear drive for the Carrie Young Fish for Life tournaments. A bunch of fishing guys have raised $154,000 for Cook Children's. This year we wanted to do something special and we got a bunch of teddy bears for the Prayer Bear program. Not the kind that growl, but the kind that comfort. A car dealership is behind a massive donation of teddy bears headed to Cook Children's Medical Center in Fort Worth. A post about an annual teddy bear drive went viral with people stepping up to donate bears and bucks. It's the biggest year we've ever had. In the past, we've donated five, 600 bears with St. Michael Lott. Just blown it away this year. The generosity of all the people that have got behind this has been just awesome. It started out about three weeks ago with a Facebook post. We made that Facebook post. Immediately, bears started coming in. We had 1,500 bears walk into our showroom. You can see these two Tahoes full. They're full from roof to floor, uh, front to back. They pick a custom bear that they feel like is going to meet the personality of that child. And everyone is unique. We're fixing to load them up. We've got eight pallets that are about eight feet high. There's about 30 boxes on each pallet, and there's 1,500 bears on each pallet, so it's gonna be a, a, a pretty good chore to get them over there. We're going down to Cook Children's. We're gonna deliver 14,500 teddy bears, and we're just ecstatic about that. It's the biggest year we've ever had. Just blown it away this year. The generosity of all the people that have got behind this has been just awesome. Good way to do it right here, teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Makes the dream work. Right on. Uh, we're going to take about 5,000 bears down today and we're going to store the other 10,000 bears and just take them to them as needed. The other 10,000 we're going to store here and then some of them are going to go to Brett Parker's place at sleepingbaby.com. He actually came in and matched our donations, doubled our bear count. Fantastic guy and he's going to store the bears for us and, and help us get them over to Cook's as needed. Volunteers with a prayer bear ministry will give those teddy bears to comfort children there at Cook Children's Medical Center. It's beautiful. It is. The bear den flooded about four weeks ago and they lost all their bears. They've given away over 11,000 bears already this year and that was the call for bears really. We just want to try to refill their stock and I think we did that. Um, we ended up with 14,500 bears. We got more coming so we're not done yet. I can't stop smiling man. I'm just so excited about everybody coming together like this and making this still happen for the kids. And, you know if you meet a kid or a parent that their kid was a part of this, it just makes it all real. I mean, it's just, uh, it's unbelievable what it means to them. So, I mean, we're just tickled to get to be a part of it. It's awesome, awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, boxes. Thank you. Well, the teddy bear drive started three years ago. Our daughter was a patient down here for many years, and she was a recipient of, of some of those prayer bears, and we knew how important they were to the kids, so we thought, well, on top of everything else, let's just do a teddy bear drive. So this is year number three for the for the bear drive. Their prayer bear den, as they call it, where they store all the bears, had a flood, and all the bears that was on the floor were affected and couldn't use them. So their inventory went way down. When you see cook children reach out, we need some help. You can tell they're in, they're in a bind. So, and a place like this should never have to buy bears. They should all be donated bears. We saw that and shared their post on Facebook, and then. Monty got it and he shared his and Monty's I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess when Monty was also a, a great car deal or something, because they come out of the woodwork to help Monty and, and right. it, it rest this history. I mean it's just it just snowballed. Should be probably fourteen thousand plus once it's all said and done. He said sixteen. Is he said sixteen? Yeah, a lot of bears. <laughs> Every child that comes in through these doors has a procedure done of some sort. Everyone gets a, a, a prayer bear. So it's a, you know it's in a kid's worst moment, sick or hurt, scared, that little bear brings a lot of a lot of peace and comfort. They pray over them before they give them to the kids. Their, their pastor will come in a little bit. He'll bless all these bears before they go in. They go in, they get checked, and new bows put on. And then any child that goes through the, these doors has some type of procedure, surgery, or whatever it may be, they get a prayer bear. They go around and give them a bear, and they, and they play with their family, and the family wants them to play with them. So that's, that's what that means, their prayer bear ministry. I'm Grant Harris. I work in the Health Foundation here at Cook Children's. A lot of uh, my team members are here that you, many of you know, um, in particular Emily, uh, who heads kind of this division for us. And she's worked with uh, Steve and Debbie 
uh, for years, and they do such amazing work in support of Cook. And now in partnership with Grits and, and uh, Providence and so many other areas that uh, are encompassing our community. So we just want to say thank you. We always love to bless the bears as they come in because we know they're going to be passed along to children and families and just create lots of smiles. What better way to, to celebrate our 10 year anniversary than to be right here at Cook Children. Suzanne Tinsley's here, Carlos is here with Providence Title, of course, Bonnie the Bear Man Coon that's <laughs> really just taken with Moritz is just taking this to a whole nother level. What else can you say? Miracles happen, and this is a prime example. There was a need, God filled that need and brought Bonnie and all his crew and all his friends to do this. And Bonnie, appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, these guys open up their businesses, their facilities, let us use it, parking, bear drop-offs. Anything we need, done it for years. Couldn't ask for a better partner. We love you guys very much. I just had to give back. Wow, that's awesome. And that, I mean, that right there is the reason it's done. I mean, a kid that's been sick or hurt, then they, they feel the need to give back. Yeah. It, We've seen that over and over. Over and over. Week. I mean, it's the last few weeks. It's crazy. Some people write so, stories on Facebook about it. It's been very touching. It's really good. One, two, three. Uh, contact Cook Children's on their website and, and go to the uh, pastoral care and there's information under that pastoral care section of their website about the prayer bear ministry of how to make a donation there. All the particulars for the bears themselves are all, is all right there.